The L and D show was filmed in front of a live audience on Facebook and Periscope. I have, I have a question answer on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we're talking about this. Okay. You and your significant other are been together for you got married at age of nineteen. And y'all are divorcing. But your significant other dies. How would you feel about that? Hey Periscope. Hey, hey YouTube. YouTube. And welcome to the LD Show. YouTube I'm Lala. I'm Levante. And I'm Dev. And yes, but well, we have a great show for you guys today. Sorry we're late. I know we're so far behind. Yes, I'm sorry. You really are. As y'all all know, I'm involved in the healthcare business and it's my fault that we're so late tonight, but I had <laughs> three emergency, you know, patients tonight. So I'm sorry that we're late, but we are here. We're yeah. here. So, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Hey. How y'all doing? Hey, Vicky. So, first of all, how are y'all doing? Me. I did tag you. You didn't tag me in there. It says, do you want to tag Marquis in there? It says yeah. tag. Do you want to tag Marquis in there? It says tag. Did you tag me in there? I tagged both of y'all. Okay, I didn't tag you. Damn it, your chick now. do you want to tag Marquis? It says tagged. Okay, well, I don't know. Oh, y'all are just shady, 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 shady. But tonight, guys, actually this it's, morning, we have a great show for you guys. I oh. hope. Hey, Uncle James. Hey. Listen, listen. First of all, let me ask you the audience. How are y'all doing? How was y'all? Because this is cool. this is a special show because we're also celebrating my birthday on this show. And it's also, <laughs> yeah, it is also a special show because we're going to see Janet Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Chess, so listen, guys. This morning, actually, <laughs> around the ten o'clock p.m. last <laughs> night, we supposed to have had an interview with um, transgender model and upcoming artist Amber Flair. But I don't know if she's gonna get to make it Thank today, you. so we might have to postpone that Our interview show? Yes. until um, next Friday. Y'all so, like this new look. I so, but if that. she if she actually calls them, because I do have her, I do yeah. have her, I do have her. No, you didn't. Tag right. into the. I do have her oh, tag bitch. into the um, live feed. Okay. So if she sees this, hopefully she will go ahead and join. Um, basically, you all can call in. The number to call into is on my live feed. We're playing Never Have I Ever tonight. Our feeds, different feeds, because we're on different cameras. Yes. You dropped shade? No, I didn't. We thought it was not. But tonight we are drinking on some very Okay, this is this is Ember, guys. Hi, Ember. Go ahead. You were right this time, honey. What'd you say? Do it right. Do it right. Yeah, I know. Because we had no time for them to swallow us. I know, honey. Get to stop it. Sit down. Where's your phone at, though? My phone's right here. Give it to me. Why we gonna? Okay. Um. But yes, you guys. But um, before we get into the interview, let's just say that we're happy that we're here. Oh we're happy God. that we have our first interview ever with Ember Flair. So this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> so right now, you guys, with further ado, let's welcome transgender model slash upcoming artist Ember Flair. Hi, Ember. Well, 
Uh, it's adding. It says it's adding. I should have to wait me a It's adding. Accept. How does that? It does not do it. Let's add it again. I tried it's again. adding. It's okay. Okay, you want my phone? My phone's right here. Yes. Okay. Um, you gotta pull up the questions, honey. Oh yes. Sorry. Girl, sweet love. Damn. You didn't say it. No. Girl, what did I need your phone for if I didn't need that? Damn. Yeah, Give me my line. Cause I mean, okay, we're okay. having technical. What's that? In a sec. Okay, she said in a sec. Okay. All right. Well, why don't we on Ember? Let's just talk about this Janet concert, though. Like, we got to tomorrow. Like, oh my God, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Like, what are the songs y'all want to hear her sing? Like, perform? Other than Scream. I know she probably wanted to hear her scream, but I mean, I would love to hear her do scream because that's one of my favorites by her and Michael because, you know, Michael's just my all time idol. Yeah. You know, I love you some Mike. Uh, yes. That's my um, favorite Jackson of all times. So. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yes. My favorite Jackson of all time is Mike. You know, I love me some Mike. Yes. You know. What about you, Dad? Regret that you see Mike. What song I would love for her to perform if, but if she does not. She always performs if, Tiffany. So that goes to show you that she's, that you're not an actual Janet Can fan. Can my statement, please? She does you not. Sing song. She does not touch if. She does not touch, touch Rhythm Nation. Those are the songs that, those are her signature songs. Okay, well, I would like for her to perform a uh, Would You Like. No, that was for the All For You Tour song. Okay, well, I would love her to perform that. But she's not going to perform that because she has younger dancers on okay, the tour. Okay, I just said what I wanted to perform. She has like 12-year-old and 13-year-old so I will, I will be hopeful and I will be attentive. But you've never been to a Janet Jackson no, I concert. Not, so I, I think you're going to be blown away tomorrow really night. A, I'm a, I don't I'm care a, what she performs. I just want to see her perform. Yes! Exactly. I'm to love being when I there. tell you, that's what I, my edge is snatched, honey. <laughs> and and the matter of fact, I'm sorry for you if you get hit tomorrow. Why would I get this travel? Let's go this It's way. just something that takes over me. I just can't help it. It's just, oh, definitely. It's just like, woo, oh, Janet! No. When you get hit tomorrow, I'm going to be to the opposite side. Oh, trust me, I, I definitely won't get hit. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Thank you for the heart. Thank you, darling. Love you. Yes. So, like we said, we cannot wait to see Miss Janet tomorrow night at Columbia, South Carolina. And if y'all are there, if y'all gonna be in Columbia tomorrow, make sure y'all like hit us up or whatever. Let us yes, know. Yes. Yeah. Let us after, know y'all gonna be. after the concert, we will also be having a night on the town. So if you see us, bottom around, flopping, darling, bottom flopping. But it's his birthday. I really didn't want to go anywhere. I just want to go to a Janet concert. But since it's their birthday, you know, why not do anything? Well, it's his birthday. There's no dare. It's mine. Mine's it's my January birthday. January 27th. Hey, you guys. I'm sorry. You repeat your question minute. for me one more time. Hold on. Let me. Let, let, let me. Pay attention. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Um, get right. Because mm-hmm. my yeah. comments are supposed to be down here. I'm so sorry. I'm not paying yeah, attention. This all needs to be right there. The other phone. My phone needs to be right there. I'm so sorry. I did not catch that question. I can see your T cells dropping. What? What? I can see what? Your T cells dropping in real time. Oh, God. Oh, wow. What are you trying to say? Shay. Pure. Vita? Well, anywho, we're not going to rate the comments. Um, let's just focus here because we do have a show to do. Anywho. But anywho, well, guys, before we get into the Ember Flair interview, let's mm-hmm. talk about a topic. Since it's the holidays. So are y'all enjoying this wine? I, I love it. it. I, just I need to taste it. wine. I will taste it in a minute. But since it's the holidays, guys, what would y'all do? Or how would y'all act rather if your parents allowed you to bring your same sex partner home with you? But, but is it that y'all thing? had to y'all had to sleep in separate bedrooms. Would you go to your parents' home for the holidays? Or would yes. you go somewhere else? We would just sneak. I want to sneak. I mean, I would be in my room regardless because the other room would be my niece and nephew. So, boo, you would be in my room. Really? Yes. So you actually? Speak. I'm gonna do what my brother did. Why would you put that on air? I'm gonna do what my brother did. Oh my god! My brother and his girlfriend. 
his wife. Whoever. But that's his girlfriend. This is the same sex partner. This is like your boyfriend. What's the difference? What's the difference? Girlfriend, boyfriend. Because some parents have different feelings and views okay, but about that. Matter. Whether you let one or child do it, it the other There's, do there's it always something about that. Because it's like your parents may be See, cool with you here's the thing. being gay, but in their house. Here's the thing. Uh, do that for the most thing. part, and looking. when you bring home your same sex partner. partner, as a lot of people like to say, mm-hmm. um, whose birthday is it? It's my birthday. It's mine. I should have on a sash or something, shit, and I or a crown or something. It's my you birthday. You wear a crown? Oh, not a tear. I just wish y'all would tear that thing up some, honey, because that shit is on my damn stomach. I don't like that. <laughs> um, you can see your stomach. Well, my birthday is actually on Monday. I see my stomach. Oh, wait a minute. It's just on Tuesday. <laughs> no. It's Tuesday, what? I'll, I pay someone to do that. <laughs> do what? Rub my feet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, my feet are actually very clean and very beautiful. I don't have those actual men feet. Those ugly you mean corns feet. like how Dez does? <laughs> I actually have very nice feet. Hold on one second. But just back to the um, t- uh, top of the hand. I have corns like tour beats with buttons and it's great line. line. Oh, I take it shoes off. Thank you, thank you. It's it an Italian. Very good. It's an Italian wine. Um, I'm not a wine drinker. I had it imported. Um, you know, this is the rich speech. <laughs> you can't say all that. <laughs> I thought this was the rich one. Is that her? What are we? <laughs> Little class. I Anywho, class though, but back to the topic at hand. Yeah. There's, to me, there's no big difference. But like I was saying, as far as the whole same-sex thing. For a lot of people, for a lot of guys or girls who bring home their same-sex partners mm-hmm. around the holidays, a lot of them are not even out to their parents. So when they bring home the whole same-sex partner or girlfriend or boyfriend, their parents don't even mind them sleeping in the same bed because, they think, because they think they're just friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when they are out, depending on the parents' views... But the question is if your parents knew... knew Yes. And then they asked you to, to sleep, sleep in, in their... separate bedrooms. Yes. Oh. yes because, you know, it's, it's always that one parent, well, whether the, it's well, the, the well, mother or the father, they're always blaming on the other parent. Well, see, I'll have to well, your mother or your father wanted you to sleep in. I, will have to, I want you to elaborate. What the, okay. What's the age? How old are you? Is this you like be, one you of could be you could be a college student coming home for Christmas or whatever. Like twenty. But you wanted to bring your significant other home like because y'all been y'all like been together. 20, like in your early twenties. Yeah, because y'all been together for maybe like two years, but you wanted to. So you're over eighteen. Your you're possibly yeah. Like well, like nineteen, twenty. It's someone you've been with for like two years, and it's like a steady so like relationship. 20, so we're like twenty, twenty-one years. Right. Old. Twenty-two. I'm sorry. That's nine times out of ten. I'm probably I'm probably not going to actually honor that particular. Or know, it's not even a college student. It's like, what if you just moved out of state to so, you know you better yourself, home. better yourself, and all that stuff. Maybe like 25, 24, whatever. What maybe nine. even thirty. Well, it, and that might be like, something that I'm going to probably disagree with my parents on, and it's probably going to spark a disagreement, and it's probably going to be one of those things. If you can't accept me and my significant other and allow us to be ourselves, you know, around the family, then either we're going to get a hotel room or we're not going to spend the holidays with y'all, mm-hmm. you know, at I all. Feel that. You know, because you wanted us to come home and spend holidays with y'all. You know, you wanted us to be comfortable. You wanted us to be ourselves. You said, come home, right. spend the holidays with us, you know. But we want y'all, we want y'all here. Yeah. That's what you said. True. You know, because you didn't just invite me. Because nine times out of ten, over the course, over the course of talking about the holiday plans, I told you, hey, well, you know, I've been talking to so and so, or leading up to this, it's probably been months. Because mm-hmm. if it's been two years, 
or however many months. If it's been yeah. months on the end that I've been talking to this person, I've been with this person, you know about them. Mm-hmm. So for me to bring them home, and for all of a sudden for you to say, oh, y'all not sleeping in the same room. Excuse me? What? Hold on now. No, it's no. Like they kind of like spring it on you. Yeah, and but because that's probably how it's going to be. Bite and home, but it's the sad it thing is, there. especially living in the South, that's how that happens. Oh, yes. You know, that's exactly how that happens. And yeah, you know, it's going to be know, a lot of people down here. home for the holidays, you know, in a few. Mm-hmm. You know, because, you know, Christmas And it's, like, it's and going to be like that. Yeah. And the sad part is, it's not just boyfriends, it's not mm-hmm. just girlfriends, it's actually husbands, oh, it's yeah. wives. Well, you know, I, don't, they, I, don't, I don't know about this thing. No. My parents don't mind it. No, 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 no. no. Husbands, the LGBT community. wives, and the LGBT and the LGBT community. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, 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 just in husbands, yeah. like, what I'm, what I'm saying, yeah. like, husbands who live, like, in New York, yeah. oh, and then yeah. they come home to Georgia. Yeah. And then they're, uh, you know, the the sons, you know, who brought his husband home from New York. Because it's like, saying, but, oh, no, 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 y'all not sleeping on the same person with that. Because y'all been together that long and got married. Your family already knows, so your family should be okay with that. But I still, know, even though your family be okay with it over the phone, but in their house, was was you actually there? See, that's the thing, though. It's a, a different. Lot a lot, a, a lot of families in the South, yeah, they may, you know, like, oh yeah, I'll be there on your wedding day, but I still don't support it. Yeah, I, 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 I that's know hurtful that. though. That's very that's hurtful, hurtful because it's like, dang, you truly. That's like, that um, thing. I was watching this. I was, uh, y'all yo, yo watch on TLC every now and again. I do, I do. Yeah, there's yes. a show called My Um Gypsy Wedding. Yes, I love that show. And there was an episode where um, I know for a fact there was a lesbian couple and there was a gay couple. Mm-hmm. They were getting married. I see that stuff. And um, I know the gay couple. There was two gay couples and they were having a hard, hard time mm-hmm. getting their parents and family to show up for them. Mm-hmm. Like it was their wedding was so dead to the point there was like maybe five people who attended their wedding. Wow. You know, and the family pretty much like wrote them off. I think the mother on one side of the grooms, uh, of one groom's family attended, but the father was like, I'm not having going. nothing to do with this. Yeah. I you I know, was. and the mother I, uh, on one side, she was like, you know, I can bring a few of your brothers and sisters, you know, that are willing to come. And on the other groom's um, side, uh, his sister pretty much was like, you're killing our mother. Mm-hmm. You, why would you do this? You're embarrassing us. You're doing this. You're doing that. And pretty much wrote him off in the middle of the street. Well, oh, wow. I have, I have no question answer on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we're talking about this. Okay. You and your significant other are been together for, you got married at age of 19. And y'all are divorcing. But your significant other dies. How would you feel about that? What? Your significant other dies. Wait a minute! That was a twisted question! <laughs> No, Wait, guys, so how you would you feel about that? Okay, how old are y'all? Because that was a loaded question. You need, I, I need a little bit more. Okay, I'm so you're, you're 19, y'all you're divorcing. You, 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 were, you, were, you were 19 when you married, but you're divorcing. Two years but, later. Two years later, darn. 21? So, 21. <laughs> the other one is dying, the other but one you're divorcing. Passed. While you're divorcing. Pass while you're divorcing? Yes. How the freaking SHRT is that? <laughs> Yo, listen. What you mean, drinking, man? This wine ain't that girl's oh from. No, no, I, no. This How much is that call was in here? This is a real life story, seriously. Oh, my goodness. That's a real life story. Well, listen, the on that topic, on that topic, or whatever, mm-hmm. y'all go ahead and get those comments popping. Um,. We do have Ember Flair here. I'm waiting on you, Ember. Whenever you're ready, yes, baby, just, just let me know. We have comments over there, guys. Um, but Hello from Paris. How you doing? Hi, Paris. Hi. 
Yeah, I speak French. So I'm just oh, God. Uh, he said one word and he speaks French. First of all, go with time. Are you at home? Right now, it is. Your finger's not going to work out I wasn't trying to let my finger work out. I don't what time it is. Right now, it is 12.43 a.m. Yeah. Here. Bam. Oh, God. I'm live right now. I'm just live. I'm part of intellectual friends. We're like, I think. I don't say we. <laughs> we, we. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, I'm sitting but this bitch makes everything so oh, funny. I'm just <laughs> trying to friends. Oh, gosh. I'm just. I'm about to go over to friends. We, I love to go there. We will be visiting there soon. Mm-hmm. We'll be visiting France pretty soon. We're planning a trip. We're planning a world tour because we're going to be touring and we're going to be coming live from around the world. All so, right, Cheetah Girls. So. Yes. <laughs> Cheetah Sisters. Get real. <laughs> Honey. But yes, yes guys. Um, so, but how would you I feel? So, would you honor them by sleeping in separate rooms? And pretty much been miserable the entire time. Because, I mean, let's be real. Honestly, dear, no. Because I, I would have to go to a hotel. Because it's like, you invited us here as a couple. And it's like, we can't sleep in the same room. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's not a couple to me. Mm-hmm. It's like, you, you wanted us here. But at the same time, we can't be us in your home. Even though we're not going to have sex in your home. How about it? Well, you know, even though we, we may not have sex in your home, but still, you invited us here, both of us. You invited me, plus my significant but other. But see, that's, the, that's what I don't understand. It's like, okay, so you will allow my male friends, or for a, a female, you will allow my female friends to sleep in the room with me. Mm-hmm. Maybe in the bed or on the floor with me. That's her but, because it's like it's saying that you the you room. you approve of it, but you don't truly accept it. I agree with that. It's kind of it's kind of wishy washy. It is. It is because it's like I'm home in where DC or be more or New York or whatever, and it's like or we're Texas. we're we're on the phone. And you're telling me that we can come, but as soon as we step foot in the house, oh, no, y'all and then we, that's, that's put, the we thing, put our though. bags in the room, then y'all tell us, or one of the parents say, oh, no, y'all like, please sleep in another in a separate room. That's not even how it goes half the time. Half the time is, oh, um, you put your stuff in your room, your in own your room, room, yeah, and um, we'll, put we'll just say, um, We'll just, we'll just make up a name. And uh, Charles, you put your stuff in the guest room. Exactly. And it's That's like, how it normally goes. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of... But, uh, but you have a sister, and but she has a boyfriend, mm-hmm. and it's like, they and sleep in the same room. room. Yeah, and they'd be and like, like uh, Brittany, uh, y'all go ahead and y'all go ahead into your room. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'd be like, really? Wait a minute. It's yeah. mom. No, 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 that's no, how no. you like mom. So your brother has a girlfriend. And y'all go into y'all uh-huh. room, into your room. They quan, y'all go ahead and see in your room. They quan, really? I said they quan. Mm-hmm. Oh, they quan, and like and they quan, y'all go ahead and see in your room. So you be like, wait, mom. So why me and Charles got to sleep in separate rooms, but Brittany and her boyfriend and they quan and his girlfriend Sleeping get to sleep in the same room. room. And you know, then she look at you, mm-hmm. and you know, she yeah, look and, like, she, and she don't really give you an excuse, but she be like, "Well, always a well, you know." And it's just leave it there, just walk and out. You know, she do that. It just don't. You, we gonna be having family over. Oh gosh, and it just don't look right. And you say, but family, like and you know, and you, it's a lot of those heavy breathing type. <sighs> the church. What about the church? 
Is the y'all look at y'all better than me? Because I would say, oh no. Well, Sorry, what about no. this? Let's take it. Let's take it a bit further. What if they have a son? Nice. What? What's she saying? Not a BF, not a boyfriend, but her baby daddy. Ooh. Yeah. Girl. Just. <coughs> Honey, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. I'm not gonna it judge nobody on that. But it's so true. I'm, it it, it's it so happens. True. It be, when it gets happens. on my nerves is because, a lot, especially in a black community, black families will allow so much the the especially the females. They will allow the females to come to the family cookouts and mm-hmm. gatherings to in fits their boyfriends and baby Play. baby daddy's plates mm-hmm. and take it back to them. Mm-hmm. But for a gay male or a transgender somebody, female, somebody what, say, what you know? They got feet? What's wrong with that? Yeah! It's time of day. Shit, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, like, it's, um, it's, it's very embarrassing and it's very hurtful too, because it's just so many, like you don't feel wanted or. It's accepted. so many double like, standards, okay. and see, this is why I have gone on and on and on about you know the whole marriage equality thing and how people are still blinded by thinking that we are equal as far as marriage goes. Oh, you think because it was legalized that we're equal. Right. We're not. (laughs) We are still not accepted by a long shot. Exactly. You know, we still get those looks in public, you know, when we walk out. That's like when I was in um, Hendersonville and because of my hair, you know, like I said, I know my hair, by the way, I have it now, makes me look a tad bit more film than what I actually am. Mm-hmm. But a trans male had asked me, she was like, um, hey, are you gay? And, you know, I'm just ordering my food. And I was like, um, I said, um, yeah. And it's like I was But, you know, he was not yet fully there just yet with his transition so you I could still tell that he used to be a she so my reaction was yeah I'm gay are you lesbian (laughs) and you know that's what I said so um you know he said no that's a lie I'm trans (laughs) I'm a trans male I said oh Okay. You look like a Well, hey, fam. Oh, wow. <laughs> you say, hey, you know, I said, well, hey, fam. I have a question. Oh. Do you guys, do you guys think that trans, like, male, well, female to male transgenders, do you think they have it easier than male to female transgenders? See, that's difficult. Because that's a lot of different issues. Because for most times, Let's just put it like this. A gay male is gonna fuck anything with all. I'm just gonna be honest. A what? A gay male is gonna fuck anything. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all forgive me. Yo, oh my god! I'm not oh my god! Because I was in a situation where my stupid other was. You've been in many situations. Yes, go ahead. Oh, and you haven't? I haven't. Live. But, um,. Yeah, no, that was just the lights. So yeah, yeah, my hair. I got caught a minute. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, T. But it's not, it's, I mean, I'm blunt. It's, it's not easy on each side. Mm-hmm. Each side comes with its own different category. Scruggle. From a male to female, that's even worse there. Because you are constantly being hated on by females. Because you look better than they do. I want to say that. You, you Not say all that. the time. Well, how about this? How about we ask model and artist 
Amber Flair. Yes, that's ex Amber. Well, well, when, when Amber comes on, we'll we'll ask her from her personal, point of, yeah, her point of view. But, but you know, you I'll also have me. your point of view as well. Yeah, you know. Uh, would you? I think that it's not trans. Are you? I'm just me. Well, I don't think I don't think, think that you have. A, that's I mean, like we, we that's like Jaden Smith over there, you know. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. No, it's it's nothing wrong with that. Because you don't identify yourself as male or female. I just identify myself as me. As you. So do you yes. identify as gender fluid? Huh? Do you identify as gender fluid? With me. <laughs> gender <laughs> gender <laughs> fluid pretty much I'm means that you answer to both pretty much male and I'm, female. No, I'm more answer to you know, female than male. Like today at work, this guy called me a male and I got really offended. Because so I don't identify as a male. Just because I may have a small between my legs oh, does not mean. That's just nasty. That's just fucking nasty. I can't just see you with that well, shit. That's just, as far as that's the just topic, right right as far as the topic goes, that's just I, right I, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, as far I mean, as the topic I goes, though, I gotta be raw. <laughs> it's just, just raw and you get. I mean, well, this is a uh, raw show. Hello from UK, Armenia. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. The illness is mental. Say me. This is mental. Uh, as far as the topic goes, as far as does anyone have it easier as far as male to female or female to male? I remember we were having a discussion about this earlier this week, and you know, I was telling y'all about this, pretty much goes back to childhood mm-hmm. is not just are you more discriminated say gay or black well let or me just say this while you're reading that my thing on that topic is I truly believe that a female to a male transgender have it easier because if, you, because if you do recall if you do recall we did go to high school. We did go to middle school. And what did you see in middle and in high school? You saw stud girls who dressed as boys. Wait, but at the wait, same wait. time, if a guy was to dress as a girl, we got picked on. No, we got whereas, the whereas they were more accepted. We got sent to the principal's office. And it's just, why it's just not, this? it's just not fair. It's just not fair at all. Let's just be honest. Oh, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't see the comments on the live. What's for me? So to me, it's just like I I truly Somebody believe they face. have it easier than male to female transgender. Like I said, as for, no as for me, like I said, you know, for me, I feel like as a child, trans males. Can you speak Russian? I cannot speak Russian. Why is there so much homophobia in the black community? You know what? I was gonna. I was. I want to have a discussion on that one day about why there is so much homophobia in the black community. Because of the churches. No, it's not because, because of the churches. Of, because of black churches. Yes. It's not just because of the churches. I actually my the reason. Personal experience. I will tell you the reason why there's so much homophobia in the black community. The reason why there's so much homophobia in the black community actually goes back Henry, to slavery. I agree with that. Your entire Uh-oh. statement is right now. But could you finish posting? Back tomorrow? to uh, as far as I trans love, males, I love what you just wrote. So I love that. Trans males had it easier growing up. Reason why I said that, right? Like, reason why I say that is because that, the they they go they went through their tomboy phase growing up. You know, mm-hmm. they were called tomboys growing up. You know, they were able to dress as males. Around they the were edges. called rough around the edges. They were able to express themselves through sports. But still, it's not right because yeah, it's they not right. are being themselves. Mm-hmm. And they were able, have, yeah. And when you have trans people, like like male to female transgenders. You know, it's just like we want to be ourselves too, mm-hmm. but it's like but if we do, excuse male. me, I'm talking. It's like if we do, 
we get hated on, we get picked on, we get called all types of names, and you know the name I'm talking about is the F bomb, and it's just yeah, like I, I, that's I, that's I, hurtful. I Who said it. what 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 is S? Sissy. <laughs> well, that's what I was about to say. You know, girl, for you got it good. for for. No, I didn't call the F word too, but it was more. Was well, for for a lot of for a lot of boys growing up? You know who. Grew up to be trans. Okay, gotcha. You know, gotcha. I gotcha. feel like if the F bomb. Okay, well, listen, while you're reading that, um, we do have. I don't know. I really don't know. Enrique has, um, has a question. Okay. And they said, okay, so question. How can we identify somebody like you when you say me? Like, for example, if I even met you in person and didn't know your name, how would I come to you as? I've yeah. been in a situation where they get offended, pretty much. And, you know, if, if, okay, let me just put it like this. If you've met someone who has transitioned over to a male or a female, you come to them as, identify as they identify as, yeah. as we identify as now. Mm -hmm. So, if there is a male to female you identify as female no. if there's a male if there's a female to, to male, male you identify as male. male so you know it's and it's it's all about respect and it's all about acceptance and it's like if you respect us we'll respect you back right. and it's just like you know no how would you want people to I approach you that. you know mm -hmm. it's you know it's all about respecting yeah so yeah, I do agree with that. I love that question though. Thank you for that. Thank you. Um tough topics tonight. It's not tough topics, it's just stuff that's See, just that's swept up the under thing. the rug. And nobody, I don't nobody mind about having it. these you know? discussions. I actually enjoy I it. I do too. I enjoy it as well. But no, I just I just like it when people actually respect and come, you know, in a respectful Correct. manner, right? And they're not just trying to bash in. Um... All right, because for me, it was it. a whole bunch of hating. Because mm. I've experienced you, sissy, you, f f f f this right. and that. Um, you want to be a lady so much. That you forget you have wet between your legs. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's ask model and artist. Yes, she's transgender, but yes, she's, she's doing her damn thing. But she's a diva. Give it up for my sister, Ember. Blair. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm trying to get this camera right. You know, I ain't been out here in a long time. I love that necklace. <laughs> I love that necklace, baby. I'm trying to get my camera right, honey. How do you do this? <laughs> well, let us know when you're this ready. You look so okay. what's going on? Nothing, child. Just talking about these topics here. Have you been listening to them? Yeah, I've been um, listening to a little bit yeah. of them. Uh, especially the one, the topic about um, uh, if you are able to bring your your significant other, significant other, other to your people's yep. house. Yes. So, what is your take on that? Like, what do so, you think about that? Um. Well, hold on. Let me put my headphones okay, in, so child. I'm so sorry. I was late to the L and D show. Oh, I know oh, the party's oh, here. <laughs> yeah, my headphones is like crazy. I'm having so many technical difficulties. Oh, fine, Get yourself together, baby. It's all right. Thanks, I'm gonna just show you. It's all going. right, honey. We are here right. for you. Oh, I'm tripping over here. <laughs> okay. Can, can you see me? Can you see yes, me? Yeah, we can we see can you, see baby. <laughs> Okay, so what is your... Okay, your well, um... 
uh, having insignificant, I mean, having your significant other at your yes. house? Yes. Um, well, uh, hold on. I mean, to tell you the story, I have a personal story about it. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, my mama is an addict, so I would have to pay $5 in order to have to have somebody over at my what? house. No matter who they was. So, yeah, so I had, it was horrible. <laughs> well, not necessarily horrible. It was just, it just depends on if your child is a girl or a boy. Right, right. If you understand right. what I'm saying. So with me being a girl, you don't want, it doesn't matter if you have a trans girl or a bio girl, mm -hmm. you just don't want your girl to be bringing men exactly. over because there's a certain standard for women. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's, it, it may be misogy misogynistic, you know, to, to say, I don't want you and your boyfriend, your gay boyfriend or your tranny loving boyfriend Absolutely. over here. But yet, my sister can have her baby daddy in the exactly. room. Exactly. She most likely got pregnant in her room. I'm just. I'm just yeah. So. Be down that road. It just depends. It just depends. But for me, because if your mama let a young girl have boy, because we all know how it, how it goes. We black. We grew up black. Our family didn't, you know, want us to be yes. how we are. Yes. They would have preferred that boy who got the girls pregnant. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. They would have preferred Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So for me, uh, it just uh, it, it it just goes. It's not even about gender. It's just more about class. Mm -hmm. Would you have sex with your mama in the next Ooh. room? Because I would never want to do Hi. it. Hi. I would never want to do it I with. I would. I would. You know, oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. what do you mean? She said she wanted to pay the parents back. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I would not want right. to, oh my God. I would not want to do that with my parents. My parents that house. Right. I mean, <laughs> look at you look at that <laughs> every night. No, I, hear. I mean, now yeah, I, I guess it depends on how big the house is. Like, now if you live in, in the east state, now that's a different story. I mean, if your parents are, are My room out of the way, that's there. one thing. But if your parents are only two doors down, no, no, no. My, I want to do what my brother needs. I don't, I don't know. know. Sorry. I don't know. I, I do. I do. Oh, my God. Know. Well, listen, so, I'm going to just point it up to you while we have this Ember here, because I know yes, she's a very lady, y'all. So, Ember, for those of you who do not know you, tell us a little bit, a little bit about Ember Flair. Well, um, I have been, well, hi, my name is Ember, hey, yeah. but no, seriously. Hey. Well, um, let's see. I started performing uh thanks to shout out to Imaje Sinclair. Yes. I started performing with Imaje. Um he had let me into the new attitude one night because my mama knew him. Mm -hmm. Um and you know, back in the day when the new attitude was popping, you know, uh, that's a local gay club here in Greenville, but it's closed down. Mm -hmm. But he was the show director of that club. Yeah, he was. He was. And um, he saw me, so he knew me, and he uh, and he let me in one night. He let me in the club one night, just to kind of get a whiff of mm -hmm. it. And so I had seen, I had seen y'all came up. Oh, y'all, my lighting is Ooh, off. Yeah. I had seen Yakima. Yes. And she was doing Beyonce single ladies when it first oh, came yes. out. So y'all already know at that time I was like, bitch. Yes. I was just saying, you know, to myself that I could do this. And so um once I saw her like maybe a few weekends after that, I was performing at Club Skittles. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Hold on, yeah, I'm trying to get my life because right. Ember, if you remember, that's where Divalicious so, started at. Yes, this is when we started, we got our first 
Right. And that's that's why I met the delicious. We met you at Skittles and you were doing single ladies. And I said, Who is this girl? And they was like, That's um that's Ember. I was like, What? I said, She is amazing. I was like, Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Killing it, honey. But my very ever first song performing was Sierra Ride. Okay. I remember that. I didn't, I that. you know, I didn't. Yeah, so I didn't have any boobs. I didn't have, I wasn't even performing in heels at the time. So it was just kind of like new for me. I was thrown in new. But later, the following week, I had went to school. And one of the staff had pulled me to the side and told me that they had heard of me doing a show while I was in school. So they was telling me. So I was just like, you know what, then... If I can get so so much attention doing this, then I'm going to continue to see how far I get. Mm -hmm. Because to be honest, I was only doing shows so I could go to the school store to buy some pizzas oh. and some um, Starburst, you know, oh, for the popular kids. Would. We would wow. always buy the well, wow. you know. Oh, my God. Right. But I really wasn't doing it for any popularity or anything. I was just doing it just to, you know to be with my homegirls, because I was on a cheer squad, mm -hmm. so I needed, you know, and all my friend girls was the popular ones, so at the time, I was just like, let me, you know, I, and I was basically funding my whole high school, everything oh from doing shows. Amazing. Yeah, so, uh, so basically with this music, I've just transitioned from lip syncing to now doing my own music. Right. And so that's just where I'm going with it. Uh, I was getting booked from the furthest I've gone. Uh, the furthest I've gone was from D.C. And uh, and the, 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 the furthest south I've gone has been like Savannah or Augusta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And I was getting booked, you know, even at straight clubs oh. doing lip syncing acts. Mm -hmm. So... I felt like I had crossed over once I started performing at, you know, the straight venues doing my lip sync. Mm -hmm. And so now I feel like just with my music, I'll be able to do the same thing, right. you know? Now, so that's just where it started. Before from. we talk about your music, let's go back to high school because I know there's a lot of other transgendered girls who are in high school right now and you know just trying to cope with life and day -day. and the day-to-day -day struggles of well, I had a other students about, kind of had a question about her trans with you know being a transgender um at like pretty much what age did you pretty much discover that you were you know transgender and how has your journey you know being a transgender you know been uh, um, the way I see it, I feel like for me and in my personal journey, I always knew who I was and I've always, I, I've never had a problem expressing who mm -hmm. I was because my personality has been so strong mm -hmm. and just so confident. Right. I've always understood that it really doesn't matter what anybody thinks because this is the life that I have Man. to live. Mm -hmm. Preach. And so, you know, growing up in a black family, you are told that you aren't allowed to do a lot of stuff Man. because it may be too feminine. But at the same time, I was in my personality is a fight. I have a fighting spirit. Mm -hmm. So with that fighting spirit, I was able to let people know, look, this is me. If you don't like it, fine, but if you disrespect it, then there's a consequence with that that comes along with disrespecting mm -hmm. me. Exactly. And so, you know, as a child, I was fighting all like crazy because I feel like sometimes you do have to let people that you're not playing when it comes to trans mm -hmm. girls. That's why we're so defensive. Right. But personally, for me, my, my situation, I feel like, has been like a bunch of girls' situation. When you go into school, you don't want people coming at you a certain kind of way or you have chronic, I, even as an adult and even me being quote unquote um, pretty, 
I feel like there are situations that just being a transgender, you're going to have to go through that no one else mm -hmm. can relate to. Exactly. Just like when you're black, no one else can relate to you being exactly. black. You understand? Exactly. exactly. So that's just how my experience has been. It's been okay. I feel like it's been just for the majority. I feel like it's been like everyone. Mm -hmm. You get you get you know discriminated against yes. you get called names yes. but yes. you just push forward True. exactly all right well let's get into this well, single I, honey I, uh, I have a question yes okay it's about your new single amber amber as i said y'all know <laughs> i never hit you right but if you know i love you regardless but um what was your inspiration right. for your new single Um, my new inspiration, thank you for asking, you gotta, um, was my inspiration for the song was, um, my aunt had just passed away. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Plug that in. My, my single is called Spread yes. Love, but, um, it was created for my aunt. It was made for my aunt. She had just passed. I forget the exact date, but it was sometime, um, a few months ago, I think in August. Okay. But, um, you know, that was my first time losing a, a, a large family member. She was my aunt. She was my dad's youngest oh, sister. So the baby of the family passed away. Mm. And um, it was my first time ever losing somebody like that. And her, her, her personality was just so vibrant. Mm -hmm. I feel like the only way to properly pay homage to her and who she was for my life was to write the song. So the words just came. When I heard the music, I um, it was just like that. It just happened like that. Oh, you know, wow. the words just came to me so easily. And it was just, you know, and I hope people get the same feeling when I wrote it. You know, I hope they it projects that same feeling. Right, exactly. Right. Well, that's amazing. Hey, um, and I love the single. That single all day, every day, baby. All day, every day. All right, so tell us a little bit I know you can give too much info, but tell us a little bit about your EP, Transparent, and how did you come up with the name Transparent for the EP? <laughs> okay, um, well, let's <laughs> let's see. Um, I have a lot of songs, okay. though. Okay. I don't really even know. Um, I really don't even know how many songs I'm going to put on the EP yet, because it's, I have some personal favorites. But then when I kind of let some of my family listen around, personally, my um my dad, when I let him listen, he say I have a good about six hot songs that he really enjoys. Oh, okay. But I know there's some other songs that I personally enjoy. Mm -hmm. So um, let's see. I don't know. I'm just, I, I, I'm setting up my iTunes account. I'm getting all of this yes, stuff set up. Yes. And y'all, it's so hard. Oh, I bet. The stuff is so technical, mm -hmm. but once I get it, once I get it completed, I'll be uh, releasing everything. That's when my, the content will start coming out a little bit more mm -hmm. fluid. Right. You get what right. I'm saying? Stuff will come out more, you know, right. Exactly. But so far as the, the, the EP, Transparent is just pretty much just showing you exactly who I am without any filters, mm -hmm. without, you know, just I want it to be as clear as possible when people listen to my music, catch the visuals, and it's just you know very transparent. You know I'm trans, yeah. and I want people to kind of see through the lens mm -hmm. of our lives and the things, or the out of the lens of my right, life. You right. know, right? Exactly, exactly. And I know it's gonna do great because you know I'm gonna support the hell out of it, right? Exactly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I love the video, y'all. I love the video. It was it was shot by Smith A. Lee. He's based out of Spartanburg. Mm -hmm. And um he did a really great job editing the video. The color, the color saturation is amazing. Uh, like I really hope y'all like it. It'll yeah. be I think I got the date set for December the twentieth. Okay. okay. Ooh, day after my birthday. Oh, look at that. Uh, right, before, right after my birthday. Yeah, right before Christmas. That's yeah. good. Oh, That's good. and happy birthday. <laughs> I know it's this one of your hosts to have a birthday today. What was that again? She's actually, what'd you say, Ember? <laughs> say it one more time, baby. 
Huh? No, I just said happy birthday to happy birthday to one of your co-hosts. I know oh. one of your co-hosts got a birthday yeah, today. Thank you, Devontae. Thank you. Devontae. This one right here. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so anybody have any more questions for Ember? Um, while we still well, here? since it is the holiday season, is there anyone special in your life at the moment? Oh, you can ask that. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, well, well. Uh, Are we still on the market? I mean, what? Um, I mean, it's only one man special around this time. His name's Santa. Ah! So he's the only one. He's the only one special in my life right now. So, you know, I'm just trying to work on this EP. I don't blame you, baby. I ain't really thinking about no man because y'all know how men do. I don't blame you, baby. (laughs) So, I do have one last question for you. Um, For other transgender girls or women, that's waiting to become a model or artist, like what type of encouragement would you give them? To be yourself, to completely walk in your truth. Mm-hmm. If I feel like it doesn't matter if you're a trans artist or if you want to model, if you're a plus size model, or if you don't feel like you're tall enough, none of that really matters. It's all about the confidence, you know? Like, how you exude what you have to offer. Not everybody's Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Not everybody has the, the style and capacity as Rihanna. Mm-hmm. And when I was creating my music, you can't compare yourself to these people. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. Because then you'll get you'll get lost trying to replicate what they're what they've done or what they're doing and I and for me I didn't want when y'all see the video please comment like and share and let me know if it gave you a bit of Beyonce or something because I really didn't want to have an element of any one of those and that's what that's what makes you a true artist thank you thank you absolutely Absolutely. But I had went to an open mic and I went to an open mic in Greenville um, before, actually before I even started working on my single. I had just went out and tested it out on the guys, okay. the, the heterosexual, mm-hmm. the crew. Yes. And they actually loved it when I performed it oh live. God. That's amazing. So, That's amazing. Hello. Right. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. Thank you. So yeah, I and that from that moment, um, I had walked out of the door after performing, and one of the manager guys was like, "You should come. You should come. You know, basically how they used to do at the gay mm-hmm. clubs when I was performing at the gay clubs when they say you should be on a showcast. Yeah. You should do this." Okay. And I was like, exactly. "Okay." So I feel like I got exactly, something. exactly, exactly. You know, yeah, well, honey, we're gonna support you and promote but, um, you. I'm you know, definitely all you ideas and stuff everywhere. Yeah, we got your back, baby. We got your back. I mean, we thank you, you, thank you. But I'm really, like I say, just hoping to. I'm just hoping to cross over. I want to be a mainstream artist, not just your LGBTQ yeah, situation yeah, going on because that's what they try to do. Mm-hmm. That's what they try to box. do with us trans girls mm-hmm. and. Yeah, they they box us into the LGBT community, not knowing that even the gays have a stigma or some kind of discrimination towards us as well. Exactly. So you know, I just want to be an artist. Exactly, and the, and the artist is what you are. So you know, it's gonna all come. It's gonna come in due time. So you know, just keep working, keep doing you, and just keep being Amber Flair, and everything is gonna the fall is in its place. So. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Well, okay, I know I said that was the last question. That was not the last question. I'm sorry, but can you like? Well, I'm happy. I'm happy. (laughs) Keep them coming. Okay, hold on, wait one second. Um, okay, 
So what do you think about discrimination amongst the LGBTQ community and mainly the transgender community? Um, <clears throat> okay. Well, the way I feel about it, I feel like the way everybody feels about scrim discrimination once they've gone through mm -hmm. it. If you've never particularly gone through discrimination or someone making you feel bad just because you just, that's just who you are. Right. Then um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to understand. But for me, when it comes to discrimination, that's just people that have something that's going on internally. Right. And in order to make themselves feel comfortable about it, mm. they have to project that feeling off onto other mm. people. Exactly. Agree. Exactly. That's true. That's you true. Know, I love that. Pretty much when some, so some you know that's why you strike out and you know say things hateful and hurtful. Mm -hmm. So, oh, Amber, did we lose your baby? Well, yeah, but that's oh, why you some. always see. We got you here. Your, uh -huh. I think your camera just froze. Yeah, That's I think all. We, I think we we're frozen a little bit there. Yeah, it froze on y'all end. So oh, okay. Can y'all see me now? No, not yet. It'll, it'll all come through, but keep talking now. We can Go ahead and keep you. talking. We can still hear you, baby. Oh, okay. Well, dang. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was just saying, just like that, you know how when you get the, uh, the, the the biggest, darkest uh, black girl with a crusty neck and she be the main one talking about people like she the skinniest. You talk the one with that real, real Like she the skinniest thing. Naomi Campbell in the crowd, honey. Yes. So that's all I'm saying. Or you got the, you got the gayest or you got the skinniest, gayest, most flamboyant, brokest gay dude in the in the audience yes, yes. be the main loudest ones trying to put everybody else yeah, down yes. trying to just be negative to get attention that's just what it is people that aren't when they aren't comfortable with themselves they're volatile to everybody right. else exactly and so exactly. that's just what happens i that's agree 100 so percent with that that's so true amen to that being down to the altar lord <laughs> exactly honey mm. Well, Ember, it was so good to have you on the show, girly. And I miss the hell out of you. We got to do like lunch. Or Thank you for having us. Something, girl. Yes, we but, must. Yes. Yes. But to, I would love to. Yes. And but to those of you who are going to watch the show later, make sure you go ahead and check out Ember's new single, Spread Love, on December 20th. If it drops on December 20th. So, you know, just make sure you just look out for it, too. So, you make it, make sure you look out for Ember Flair, period, on all iTunes and, and all YouTube. Media. Yeah, all social media, so. Up and coming rising star. Yes, I'm so proud of you, girl. I'm very yes. proud of you. I'm very proud. Thank you. We're going to be the artist of the incoming rising star. Yes. Artist of the century. Artist of the century. Yes. Of the century. So, so, that's what we're going to call it. Right? We got you, boo. And we're going we're gonna to be like heavy supporters here of you. So I'll be watching everything you do. So, um, you're not the only one. This is the last you. time we're going to have you on the show because hopefully you will be like a guest co host on the show one nope. day. So, yes, boo, we yeah, got to yeah. have a spot for you here. So, yes, Deborah, come on and enjoy a glass of this Italian wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Well, I, yeah. oh, yeah. I thank y'all for. <laughs> I thank y'all having me for the uh, having me on the L and D show. Yes, I absolutely yes. love what you yes, guys are thank doing. You so much. Oh. Um, yes, and to make sure that you guys add me on Instagram if you don't already oh, have already me got at Scorching underscore Beauty. Yes. Yes. Okay. Scorching underscore Beauty. Yes, and, um, a little bit. Say it one more time. Say your Instagram one more, one more time, baby. Oh, Scorching underscore Beauty. Uh, S C O R C H I N G underscore beauty. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, and that'll be it. And everything else is Ember Flair. You can find me Ember Flair anywhere else. I'm revamping my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm I might even make a Facebook fan page. Okay. I'm not sure. You should. But we shall see. You should, honey. Yes, you, you should. should. You definitely should. <laughs> I, I'm, I just might I just might 
Because they, I'm doing everything by myself. I don't have a team, no glamorous team, like how you see all these other people say they got squads right, and stuff. Girl. I'm, I'm a one-woman show. Exactly. You got to fake it until you make it. Uh, one, <laughs> day, <laughs> until you make one day we will all have teams behind us. Because what you see here, one but day think about it like this. I'm transgender. Oh, yes. hey, so. It doesn't matter if you're transgender. I'm transgender. I ain't never been able to be fake. That's a hard yeah, task for me. Yeah, fake is true. hard when you're transgender. True, true, true. Well, ding, ding, baby. <laughs> one day there will be somebody <laughs> to all of your appointments. Yep. There will be somebody fetching your coffee. You know, somebody there will, you there will be going. a team behind you. Yeah, so it will. it will it will you don't look it's all gonna it will happen. all happen in due time it will so <laughs> so until then honey you just keep grinding yes thank y'all thank y'all ember flair honey yeah, and don't change for no damn body no keep stay it going. true to yourself yeah. stay humble ah. stay real look <laughs> and keep god first yeah <laughs> child Yes, for sure, absolutely. Aww. Well, baby, we love you. Love you. you uh, the best of success so, all. thank y'all. I hope your yes. holiday season is wonderful. You and guys as well. Yes, honey. Yes. Well, we'll be talking to you very, very soon, dear. We love you. All right. Bye. All Thanks right. for having Bye. me. Bye. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's so amazing because you know when we started out as delicious me and Dez yeah. and, and our cousin Brittany you know we saw Ember I didn't know who she was at first but I did see her performing you know single ladies mm -hmm. and I was like oh my gosh she's killing it and it was like she is good mm -hmm. and so you know she she is one of the reasons that kept me, me going, going. But you know, you stopped the delicious though, bitch. You no. stopped us, bitch. Bitch, I got married. So that was the bottle of Italian. But yes, I'm so happy for my girl. Now let's go ahead and pop so. this bottle of Bill. Oh my goodness. Sit down. Oh, I have a A pee break. Yeah, a pee break. I I'm go. freaking serious. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna fly and the booth. Now that we have covered our topics and we've had our successful interview. I believe we have had a successful show. Yay! It has been a great show. And we are going to go see Miss Janet Jackson. We're going to see Janet tomorrow. I want you to fuck it up. We enjoy it. Oh, no. Not all the bones in my face. She could have farted. Could have blew me away. She might be smart, but she might be deadly too. I have heard of fast gas before. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. Damn, child. I really? Ended really? the live. Really? You ended the live. I did not end it. She ended the live. No, when Amber ended, it ended it completely. Remember? No, it doesn't. Was, no, there was issues going on with the live when you add someone to it. Anywho. It ended the live completely. We enjoyed we having all of you. Yes, we did. We did. And really until is. next time. Oh, Tiffany, your foot. That's what happened there is your foot but hit the thing. Remember My foot is right there. Don't do that. Remember to follow us on YouTube at the L D show. On La, at La La and the one take that's L A dash no, I'm sorry. L A space L A Devante. D-E-V-O-N-T-E and Devante. -E 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 <laughs> <laughs> you can also follow us on our Facebook page, uh, The L and D Show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and remember to write into us at the L and D Show 2017 at gmail.com. You know, with your topics and your comments. Let's and remember to doing. subscribe. Like I said, oh, sorry, for, I forgot. Sorry. Make sure you subscribe to that YouTube channel. Yes, and make sure you click that, that bell, bell honey. Click bell. That bell. Because we do upload videos every, every Saturday or Sunday. So just be on the lookout. Every weekend, there's a new video coming from us. So, yes. oh, yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and if we don't see you guys or if you guys don't see us before Christmas, 
Merry Christmas to you guys. We wish you all and a happy, happy Hanukkah. New Year. You know, for those of yes. you who don't celebrate Christmas, it is a Kwanzaa as well. Kwanzaa. Mm-hmm. Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Christmas. And for those of you who don't celebrate anything, you uh, uh, Jehovah Witnesses don't want to offend anyone. Happy holidays. Mm-hmm. Um, hope you have a good time watching TV. Um, happy doing whatever you do. Anywho, enjoy your time off. We're good. 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 I'm Lala. And I'm Dan. And we are signing out. And we're signing off. Okay, I have to. I have to go.